welcome to Malapasco Island, one of my favorite here in the Philippines. We're on a mission on this trip. We of course want to see the freshest shark, but they actually moved from Monachol to Kimmelchol. We don't know exactly why, but there's uh, rumors about bull sharks being in the area and then the tigers are there as well. But slowly they are coming back to Monad. But if you go to Kimmelchol now, it's, which is a very small sunken island, so they're kind of compact compressed in that area so you see a lot more of them which is even better so we're gonna try out uh, Kimochol of course and dive around but also we're here to talk about a new gadget that got sent to us and I think it's the best product for uh, traveling and holidays here in the Philippines so if you're interested in that we'll give a few words in a second about that but look at this paradise finally sunny I think rainy season is finally over this is magical. Quickly talk over a product before we get into the diving and that is the DJI Mini 3. We've been using it for about a month now in Anta and Dawen and now here. And it's safe to say that this is probably the highest recommend drone that I would do for someone beginning as a first one. It is finally a drone with a vertical shooting. So regularly you shoot landscape. But now with Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, everything is shot vertically. So this camera on the drone is able to flip. And here it is, the DJI Mini 3. It is 249 grams, which means you can fly it without having a license. You can buy it, take it off, and fly without any stress. And the uh, combo that we got was the fly combo, which has the uh, remote and two extra batteries. And this is something I absolutely love. It has a screen on it, so you don't have to connect your phone to a controller. Turn it on, plug the joysticks in, only like two circles. Here we go, one in, second one in. There you go, ready to operate. It can hover for up to 51 minutes and about 38 minutes of flying around, which is more than any drone I've had in the past. We have, uh, test them to the limit so far and the biggest test we had was going on a boat if you take up the drone from a boat when it's uh, wobbly wavy and unstable that can be a tricky and nerve-wracking but it was much easier because of the size so we took them off flew landed no problem we've gone maximum altitude of 500 meters two kilometers away no problem going back and forth and the signal between the remote and the drone is seamless it has never shut down, lost connection, or anything like that. It is streaming like it's next to you. So who is this drone for? I would say families, for holidays, or any aerial type of photography. It is great as a beginner one, but it's, it's also reaching, it's creeping up into being a professional drone. We are staying once again in Ocean Vida for the second time. Uh, previously we had the uh, oceanfront rooms so you could just step on the sand right away but uh, that was fully booked so we're doing the garden view area and that is beautiful as well. There's uh, actually birds in the morning singing and then we got the uh, restaurant of course next to us and then we're diving with Sea Explorer once again because big boats, reputation, good quality. Every morning when you dive in Malapascua, you usually wake up super early around sunrise time because you'll have about 30 to 45 minute boat ride to either Kimochol or Monachol. But for my group, we actually only did two shark dives because we saw so many of them that we figured out maybe we should explore more. So we decided to search for the smaller stuff and here we got a gorgeous frogfish with a frogfish axe on him. 
The eggs are attached to the left side of the body and the only way for the eggs to grow and hatch is if the frogfish keeps on nourishing them with the water flow by flapping its tail up and down. So this is an extremely unique thing to see. Moving on to Gato Island, this is where you find a lot of shark species and rare critters. As we descend deeper and deeper, we notice inside of a crack a resting white tip shark. Now you gotta be extra careful approaching them if you wanna get close. Now remember my lights only reach about 2 meters, so what you see in here is an extremely close distance from the shark. And off they go. But the highlight for me is the white spotted bamboo shark. This one I've been trying to film for years. And finally, we got him. So we have a bit of a downtime and she's just gonna mermaid it. And of course I'll be reef safe sunscreen. Welcome on board! Only about mild 34 degrees Celsius today. What are you doing during that time? You jump in the water. Philippines is extremely lucky with their marine biodiversity. The country keeps on winning leading dive destination awards all across the globe. And I can definitely vouch for that. That's why I chose Philippines. That's why I want to build my future here. To showcase the world how beautiful marine life is down there. And with over 7,000 islands and everything you see in this video is only from three islands. Just imagine what you can see in the rest of the country.
dice, Spanish dancer, uh, the other guy saw Manta Ray or a Devil Ray, they weren't quite sure. Thresher they saw, and we saw we're sorry, hunting for the uh, rare nudie branks, but uh, we didn't see any of the big stuff, but wow, that was amazing. Diving trip. It was one of those things that we were just diving, 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 having a good time that we barely took out the camera to film. Sorry about that, but the shots, the marine life, like this is Visayas, this is Sepu, the very best in the north for sure. So I'm um, just super stoked about that. And we have already driven now to southern Sepu to Samboan after six hour drive and are about to enter a row row. Alright guys, we made it back home from Malapascua and a lot of things actually happened in the meanwhile going from Malapascua back to Dawin uh, including a car accident that we were involved that we're gonna talk about maybe in the next video but no one was hurt or anything but it's something uh, very important to share but what a beautiful trip, amazing shots. This was one of the trips that we just do, eat, relax, and that's it. So there wasn't much of a dialogue or talk during the trip. So uh, I'm sorry about that. And uh, we've seen all of Malapascua. This trip, we just wanted to dive, dive, dive. And that was the main purpose of the trip as well. Of course, uh, reviewing the DJI Mini 3 drone. And you can see here in front of me, these are my current drones. So uh, the zoom one has always been my favorite ones, but due to its size, look at that. I haven't really been using it much lately. And the weight difference is incredible. I mean, this one is a tank, super high quality video footage from it. But I would say I only recommend it if you're doing any sort of color grading. Everything we got straight out of the camera from the DJI Mini 3 was good enough and I didn't have to tweak any colors. So I'm super happy uh, with the color science from DJI, especially in this one. And probably the most important feature about all of these is whatever lens or camera you feel like picking up, that in my opinion is the most valuable one because the less you carry, the more often you bring out to the field to shoot with. So everywhere we go out, we bring this lovely bag that comes with it, super light and easy to carry around, can fit your wallet and uh, some gadgets in it. The only disadvantage I would say with this one is if it's extremely windy, then it has some trouble hovering. But that's about it. I've been flying in strong winds up in the land and that's fine. But beside that, it does everything that I need to do. Before I start vlogging, uh, I bought a drone even before able to film me. <laughs> so I've always been a huge fan of drones, the technology and uh, as well when I arrived in the Philippines I was carrying one backpack just for a big ass drone. In uh, about six years it's gone from like a massive drone in a bag to a, a pocket size unit that delivers. And even though these ones are a lot more expensive, they have a 10-bit color data in them, I still pick the DJI Mini 3 just because the convenience, the light and portability and image that comes out of it is good enough for me. Shout out to DJI Philippines for sending it to me. There's official Shopee and Lazada with uh, DJI. So if you want to purchase it, the best way to do it, you can do it online through those two shops linked in the description below. And I believe you can even do it a cash on delivery. So you order and I pay at delivery. So uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. That's uh, what we do always here when we're shipping things, cash on delivery. We got a couple of things coming up, so stick around and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.